Well, thanks for visiting us this morning at KTALnews.com and your weather authority app. I'm meteorologist Josh Marses, and this is your Thursday morning forecast update. It is weather pattern change day for us for sure, as we'll likely start to dry out and kind of put the significant severe weather behind us in most locations. That said, there is a chance of some storms tonight I'll get to in just a moment, but we're kind of transitioning to the hot summer pattern here. First heat advisory of 2023 in effect uh, for our counties and parishes south of I-20. We had a warm front move through yesterday, so the dew point or the humidity is really increasing in these areas. So take the highs in the 90s today and you factor in the humidity, you get a heat index or what it will feel like, a true feel to the air of about 105 or above. So uh, get used to those heat advisories. We may see them uh, kind of on and off through the weekend here. It will be a mostly cloudy start to the day, but we're likely going to see more sun work its way through. So that will push our highs back into the 90s. Past few days have been in the 80s just due to the storms that we've had out there. There. And you can see uh, the storms continue to move east. That's the green color on the water vapor map here. And you can see the uh, storms are being replaced with some dry air, at least at the surface, still very humid in the upper levels. And that's what's going to contribute to some of those thunderstorms later this evening through tonight. And uh, again, I'll show you that in future cast. But for today, the story, definitely the temperatures here is we'll start out in the 70s and uh, daytime highs in the low to mid 90s will likely stay partly cloudy through the afternoon. But there's a look at the, uh, the heat index map here when you factor in the humidity. Anytime you get the heat index up to 105, it will trigger these heat advisories. And again, the thing with that, just uh, urge to limit your time outside, especially during the late morning and afternoon hours. If you got to do some yard work or run some errands, just try to do it early in the morning when temperatures are cooler. Or, uh, once we get closer to sunset, when the temperatures start to drop as well, likely we'll see these heat advisories, I think, through the upcoming weekend here. So uh, look at satellite and radar. Again, the more significant severe weather threat uh, yesterday Day, kind of played out to the east of us, but we did have some storm damage, including a confirmed EF2 tornado in Cass County. Now, we'll likely be dry during the day today, but this area of low pressure is going to trigger some significant storms up in uh, Kansas and Oklahoma, probably by mid-afternoon today, and then those storms will uh, just kind of push south through the plains here and eventually arrive in the Arklatex after sunset tonight. It's that level two slight risk, and uh, again, hail has been an issue the past few days. We could see some hail with the storm out there tonight and also some wind the uh, tornado threat will remain very low for us but we can't uh, completely rule that out but I think we'd see more of a wind threat with any of the storms late tonight in addition to the hail so look at your Robin said a future cast it shows just a few early morning showers uh, over here east of I-49 but likely just a partly cloudy day for us and you can see once we get closer to sunset we'll begin to see some of this rain here and uh, the stronger storms may come in overnight so you can see those storms there close to the Washita Mountains I think if we did see any severe weather, it's more likely to be here uh, near and north of I-30 tonight, but we'll clear out pretty quickly again tomorrow and likely we'll carry these partly cloudy conditions through the weekend. Uh, please note that front will kind of stay out here this weekend, so there will be some storms each day, uh, likely just to the north of the Arkletex, but the 20% chance of rain that you see in the uh, forecast once we get to the seven day here, that will be for the storms that will continue to kind of flirt with the northern edge of the Arkletex here as we go through the weekend. Speaking of the weekend, going to be a very hot Father's Day weekend with your highs in the mid to upper 90s. That's why I think we'll see the heat advisories around through the weekend and uh, maybe into early next week as well. We do have a little change in wind direction next week, so hopefully that will uh, begin to drop our humidity as well. That will send some more dry air in, so we don't have any rain chances in for uh, the early to middle portions of next week, but hopefully the humidity can come down enough that will be out of the heat advisories. But either way, hot and feeling like tuned with those highs in the 90s and overnight lows in the mid 70s through next week.